Hi, YouTube reverse Steve 3PO here, and today we're going to talk about angle grinders. So when I first started working with metal, it was all very intimidating. You have heat and sparks and electricity and things hitting you in your face shield and warning signs everywhere. So I wanted to do a brief tutorial on some of the tools we're going to be using on these upcoming projects. Angle grinders is one of those. So without further ado, let's jump right in. So angle grinders are pretty similar across the board. However, they all have their differences between brands and sizes and shapes. So I'm using a Porter cable. I've read the instruction book. You should read the instruction book on yours as well for the specific details on how to use them. So I also want to talk a little bit about gloves and angle grinders. A lot of people don't use gloves while they're using their angle grinders and that's that's personal preference um, generally speaking i will wear gloves with small lightweight hand tools uh, however if i'm using a machine that is approaching my body weight um, it is permanently mounted a uh, spindle is permanently mounted or it has rotating parts i do not ever use gloves so before we get started with angle grinders there are two important things to know about them number one they're loud, so have hearing protection, and more importantly, be willing to use it. Two, while safety glasses are great for pretty much anything in the shop, with angle grinders, the best protection is going to be a full face shield. So the safety glasses will help protect your eyes, but these things have a tendency when they wear down, when the composite discs wear down, to throw pieces of shrapnel. This will protect you from a mouthful of broken teeth. So please, protect yourself. Before you go swapping out any attachments on your angle grinder, make sure to unplug it or detach the battery. Should be powered down if you're going to be putting your hands in the danger zone. First up is a good old fashioned grinding wheel. It's made of composite, it's very rough, and it'll take off a lot of material very quickly. When attaching a grinding wheel, the raised side of the flange fits into the recessed groove on the inside of the disc. As the name implies, the front edge of the grinder is held at an angle and the actual grinding takes place at the 12 o'clock position, only about an inch wide. The motion is back and forth with very little lateral movement. I'm grinding down some of these terrible practice welds. It will take off a lot of material very quickly and leave a metallic but rough finish. Next up is a flap disc. These are just like sandpaper, only faster. The flange's flat side goes against the disc. These will also take off a lot of material with low grit numbers, but the higher the grit, the more polished the finish. I'm using a 120 grit disc and the finish is starting to look a little bit more mirror-like. Metallic cutoff wheels don't break as easily they reduce dust, and they maintain their original wheel diameter throughout the life of the blade. However, they might not cut some materials very well. Cutoff wheels require a different guard. Again, with any cutoff wheels, you're going to use the flat side of the flange down. Moving the handle to the vertical position makes cutting a lot easier. When cutting metal, like this quarter inch piece of steel, I usually start the cut at the top of the workpiece and let the weight of the angle grinder work its way down. Composites are everywhere and inexpensive, but they wear down quickly, throw off shards, and there's always the risk of manufacturer defect, which may result in the wheel failing catastrophically. Hence, the face shield. Steel wire brushes are great for cleaning off material. We will also put different types of finishes on softer metals like aluminum, bronze, and brass.
And finally, they even made a chainsaw attachment for an angle grinder, which I'm using here because I'm too lazy to go get my circular saw. Thanks everybody for watching. I hope you got some value out of that video. We got a lot of exciting upcoming projects that are gonna use this and other, other really cool devices. So please like and subscribe so I can continue to do the videos and follow us on Facebook at The Tinker Bandit. In the meantime, be safe and keep on tinkering.